now it is a pleasure to welcome Adam Costello. Adam is the director of the Central Massachusetts Veterans Service District. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My goodness, so we, we hear a lot about veterans on, you know, this time of the year, especially in May. Uh, there's a lot of military appreciation events, and of course it culminates Memorial Day this year on, on Monday, um, the 30th. And sometimes, yeah, as a veteran myself, and I know you veterans out there kind of get the same feeling, it's uh, a little awkward for us, right, when, when you hear thank you and, and thank you and thank you. And it's very much, it's very much appreciated. But sometimes we stand back and we're like, wow, you know, there are so many other things happening. Um, thank you, you know, thank you to the community for everything that you do. And I think it's appropriate to talk about that a little bit today where we're here for a flag raising. So last year when I was here, we talked about uh, the flag raising on Iwo Jima. We talked about the flag raising on the moon and, and all of these great historical moments where we saw the flag out there. And I know that's on, that's on Westboro TV. Um, so if you wanted to see last year's comments, you know, go ahead, look it up, and I'm sure they'll, they'll like the ratings. Um, but I think what we need to do today is, is take a look at where we are right now with the flag. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, so I left here, I left our community a little over 10 years ago, I believe, and I got back about three years ago. So I was gone for a total of, of seven years, and in that time I was back maybe for two weeks or so a year I think um, one year I came back for six days to see my daughter be born and I had to decide am I gonna come back for Christmas or am I gonna come back for the birth and I, I chose the birth so um, I got my first sergeant said you can have six days or you can go on your Christmas leave and I said I'll take the six days and I'll work over Christmas yeah. um, and so the changes that I saw in the community while I was away were, were significant and I saw that there were a little more rifts in, in just what I watch in the news, and I, I think that uh, we need to kind of get back to this community as we are the community spirit, and I think we've, we've done a good job maintaining that in Westboro and the surrounding towns, but elsewhere in the country there, there's a little worry there that um, everybody has become so special that we've almost forgot how to move together as a single unit and pick a direction and, and travel in that lane. And so when I look at the American flag that we're going to raise here today, I see seven red stripes, I see six white stripes, I see you fill the blue, and I see 50 individual stars, but I see one flag. I don't see, I don't think when we look at this, we see, we see all of these different parts. I think we see one flag, and uh, that's where our focus needs to kind of realign, realign with. As a veteran, I've been through some pretty difficult experiences and I can say I can say that I've been uh, no, I'm not going to go into detail trust me but I, I can say I've been IED'd I've been RPG'd I've been rocket attacks I've been ambushes I've been uh, sniped at I had a, a hand grenade thrown at me and when I came back I said nah who cares you know <laughs> that's all in the past I'm not going to worry about that anymore I'm home now what are we going to what are we going to do now but we've seen many of us have seen how different it is in other countries and how different it is when people are looking at their own best interests, not the best interests of everybody. So when I look at the flag, I see one flag. I don't see all these individual parts. When I look over here at the Westboro High School students, I see amazing talent that I don't have and I wish I did. You know, I don't know how to play the, the trombone. I don't know how to play the uh, I can't even name half of those instruments over there. I really can't. I wish I knew how to do those things. I wish I could lead a group of students and, and look out for their welfare and, and look out for their best direction. I wish I could make some of those decisions for our children's education. I try to be involved in the school councils. Uh, I try to be involved in the in the school uh, the ceremonies when I can because I really really enjoy that that's that's fun for me and being a veteran is just a small part of ourselves and our history but it's a part that we hold on to very dearly so what I would challenge this year as we move into it is for our veterans and our veterans organizations is to take a look at those parts of the community that we wish we could have been a part of that we missed out for our reasons for our service and our sacrifices and let's, let's try to give those kids what they need and, and work towards their betterment 
because these kids and everybody here are obviously working towards our betterment and we can use that and by reciprocating what we get with what we give we're going to have just the most fantastic community I mean, we already do but we're just going to be better every every day so this year for me i'm working um, very very strongly with the girl scouts we're going to fund some uh, uh excursions for them because those those little kids man they're going to be our leaders and they're going to be the people that take care of us so we're going to take care of them today veterans thank you so much for being here everybody else thank you so much for being out here today we're going to move forward as one community nobody nobody is more special than everybody else but we're going to move forward together and we're going to make great things happen this year thank you so much